Hello everybody, I'm Andermore Central and behind me is the temporary Nelson Street bus depot with the Bradford Interchange that shuts just in front of us. Back in the day we used to start our videos about a minute and a half walk um, just straight ahead from where the camera's facing um, up into the interchange um, but that's all now shut so this is as close as we can get. Now this is a adventure video, we're not staying in Bradford, we did a recent video from Bradford so if you are interested in their brand new purple and grey Eclipse B7s that have entered service, it's B network yellow ones, do go and check out that separate video and that link will appear at the top at some point during this one. But in this video we're taking a look at some other transfers from the same um, stage, not stage, much first Greater Manchester and Midlands operation, um, or South Yorkshire Midlands operation, we're actually having a look at the Enviro 400s. Now they've got a load of Enviro 400s um, have um, Halifax from Greater Manchester but they've also got a few from the Potteries. The Potteries ones that they've got um, are about three or four I believe it is although I will confirm at the end of this video three or four um, X Potteries SN63 new to West of England E400 and looking, luckily enough today even though they are very very rare in service luckily enough today there are two of these out in service we're hopefully going to get them back to back we'll show you the differences and um, how they're very very different to the X Leeds V400s that Halifax had we'll also discuss the other E400s they've got from Greater Manchester why they're rarely in service at the moment and as I say where you can expect to find them after you watch this video for now though, I'm going to head behind me, get a couple of photos, get a photo of our next bus that is hopefully one of these E400s in um, on the 576 and then I'll see you all when it arrives to take us to Halifax. So there we go, so here's our bus 33828 parked on the back wall, just arrived in, um, as I say, one of the um, two x is out today and thankfully tracking correctly. You may notice that the interior looks slightly different, we'll focus on that when the bus arrives, and as I say, these have quite an interesting history, it's not just potteries they've been to, they've in fact actually been all over the place. So, um, as I say, we'll wait until it comes round, it's due around in about 10 minutes to leave, so I'll head over to the stand or where I think it may stop, somewhere near the bus stand where it should stop stop um, and wait for it to come round. So here we go, so here's our bus 33828, one of the SN63s, SN63 MYL that'll take us up to Halifax on the 576. So as you can see it's got a very similar interior to what they had at South Yorkshire, this was one of the ones that got refurbished upon arrival um, to the Potteries, look at the back seat as well, incredibly padded, got to be one of the most padded E400 back seats I've sat in in a very very long time, but very nice to see this maquette up in West Yorkshire even though we've still got smart bus travel, the Stoke and Hanley bus partnership on the side, it's still really nice to see as I say the refurbishment job um, on this bus does make the interior look really really nice. I personally prefer it over the e lover. Approaching Queensbury now, so we're just over halfway on the bus route on our way to Halifax. We're doing well for time. Um, the 576s throughout the day provide a lot of time for late running, and as Great Horton Road can be quite unpredictable with passenger numbers and traffic flow. We've done quite well though. Um, as you can see, still in the very, very comfy back seat. Um, reminds me of the kind of back seat you get on Trident and all the B7s. Really, really nice back seat. 
So I'll tell you a little bit about the E400s at Halifax and then when we're on the next one I'll tell you a little bit more history about these vehicles because they've had a very very interesting life. Um, it's not their first time up to Yorkshire in fact, that's how interesting their lives have been. So Halifax is becoming the hub of the ADL Enviro 400s. A few years ago just before Covid and the pandemic they got all the Leeds ones, all the 338s from Leeds, all the SM14s went over from Bramley. So they got the full batch of them, they had a few teething issues when they first um, got them and what have. Um, so it took them a bit to put them out into service to be confident enough um, to have them in service. But now they're out in daily use. Now having learnt from that, their next batch of buses have come from Greater Manchester. So the next ones that they properly got in mass were the ones replaced by Tranche 2, the B network at Oldham. So all of the older Me 400s um, that were split off, and quite a number of them, ended up um, going over to Halifax to wipe out the last of the B7s, get rid of a couple of B9s, bits like that, um, to get rid of a few BMCs. So they got um, the SN12s, none of the 14s, just the 12s. Um, so all of the ones that were used for the Olympic Games in 2012, they got a small number of them, very mismatched. I'll, I'll do a summary at the end of the video um, with the fleet numbers on. But they got them from Oldham, Greater Manchester. So they're in use in Halifax, 33741 has just been painted into purple and grey as well. Um, so they've now started to paint them into the new livery that looks really, really nice. But they've got all of them at the moment for use on schools. And they've been joined by these, I believe so far it's 33826 all the way through to 30 that they've got. They've all got this same refurbishment from their previous um, location in the Potteries and these have started to appear very, very occasionally out into service. That's why we're doing this video today because there's actually two of them in service that we can do back to back um, that's quite good. So they are starting to pull them out into service, wanting to build confidence with them as obviously these are 63 plates. So these work right in the middle of the 12 plates from Manchester and the 14 plates from Leeds. And Halifax do want their newer buses out in service, want to show off the newer vehicles. So with the idea that B9s and bits like that will eventually end up going on to school work. So hopefully, as I say, the trial goes well. A few of these have appeared out today. A few of the Manchester ones have unfortunately they've been subbed off um, in the time that we've been sat on this bus. But hopefully, as I say, we're still on this one, this one's still running and our next planned move as well, there is another one of these, is still out as well. So as I say, I'll explain when we're on that, the exciting history that these vehicles have had. Thank you. Cheers. So here we are at Halifax bus station. We'll just watch a few E400s come in and leave. Um, right at the very back is 338 um, that we've just come off. They'll probably be um, offloading at one of the stands. But what we're going to do now, we've got about nine minutes or so, so we're going to head into the bus station to wait for our 521. So here we go, so 33827 round to Ellingworth. So again a nice really big back seat on this one, it seems to be a standard thing with these that they've got a really really nice padded seat, makes a change. And as we leave in 27, 28 arrives.
So to explain a bit of history on these, um, now I did say here in these on the last bus, um, Halifax getting all their E400s, it's become quite an E400 capital. Not many other places want them, but Halifax don't mind them because they're newer vehicles to keep the fleet age average um, relatively low, so that's why they like them. But where have these ones come from? Because they're SN63s. Now, they are SN63s and they were new to the west of England. They were new at the end of 2013 for the XL corridor. So the orange buses that they used to run on the XL is being replaced by the Badger line now. Uh, they used to go from Bristol to Western Supermare, Clever Cleverdon, all of that lot and along that corridor. So these were parts of the buses on there. They had a load of older Trident 2s, they went down to Essex, but these were also on there. Now, when the street decks started to arrive not so long ago, and they were in Badger Line spec, not the bell sounds a bit odd on this one, uh, but they were in Badger Line repainted, they had a very similar street deck spec to what we're used to. Um, these got displaced, and these were some of the last ones to leave, but they didn't go straight to the potteries. They actually went to Sheffield. Um, and they appeared in the back top park of Olive Grove and they were parked up there in XL Orange for quite a long long time. One by one they then got painted um, with the fuchsia pink fronts, they got the retrims done as well, McKenna Brothers and all of that lot were doing all the retrims for First South Yorkshire at the time so they retrimmed all of these as well and after about I think it was about eight months or something they were sat at the top park of Olive Grove. After um, about as I say about seven or eight months it was something really daft long like that they transferred them to the potteries and they ran them alongside um, the deckers at the time that were the B7s. These helped to rush out B7 Geminis um, and um, the street decks coming in at the same time helped. So these all replaced the B7 Geminis. They were cracking on in age, they were quite unreliable, unfortunately, in the potteries. For those of you that have watched my potteries video, you'll know what I mean. They were incredibly unreliable. We had one breakdown on us when I was doing that video. And um, so they weren't the best buses, unfortunately. And um, so that's why these were there. Now, York. Very, very random, as I say, a very big story. Um, York ended up getting their diesel street decks in there for the Uni, um, Uni of York and the York Park and Rides. And very, very recently, again, they've got their Electroliners. So, again, when their Electroliners arrived, whatever street decks they didn't need, some of them went to Ipswich, the other diesel ones that were low height went to the Potteries. The Potteries got their diesel street decks from York, all low height as well for their low bridges, and that's what has meant that these can come here. So these have come to West Yorkshire and um, to Halifax because West Yorkshire and York are part of the same business. They've come to Halifax in return for these diesel low height street decks to go down to the potteries. So the conclusion is the potteries now run um, a fully diesel street deck fleet. These E400s are now here. They got refurbished in Sheffield but never ran in Sheffield and were new to the west of England. So as I say quite an interesting but very big story. So there we go, so that was 33827. So yeah, just approaching to the stop now is 33702. We weren't anticipated on getting this. This is actually an ex Greater Manchester example. And um, the only one's still out today, a few of them have come off and this one has just come back into service. But we'll do this as well, as I say, a little bit of extra Manchester action to showcase just all the E400s they've now got at Halifax. SN12 AHJ.
So you can tell these ex-Manchester ones um, haven't had much of an uplift with their seat. It was always something you'd notice when you went to Manchester um, because the leather seating does look a little bit more worn. It's still comfy, still really nice, but that's how you can tell the difference um, with these. We'll ignore the um, seat um, pillars as well and they need a little bit of TLC. So the uh, majority of the new E400s at Halifax are ex-Manchester, they are from Oldham, um, although they have been um, predominantly on schoolwork until um, sort of today, uh, when it seems that the day I'm filming this, it's a few days before it will be released, about three, um, two or three of them have entered service and made appearances and actually done like, or attempted in some cases to do a full day shift without being swapped off. So I don't know if this is going to become the new norm, I don't know if we can expect to see um, these Manchester Reforms out a bit more hopeful by the time this video comes out there will be, because it would make sense over the summer holidays for these to be pressed out into service over the older B9s and for purposes of uh, mileage and bits like that and obviously have newer vehicles out on the road. It'd be a nice, nice way to demonstrate them and see if they can do it. And so we'll have to see what happens, as, as I say, at Halifax is in the point now where it is pretty much capable to run an E400 fleet. It's just um, very much down to how reliable the vehicles that they've got um, are. For now though, as I say, this was a nice little extra treat added to this video. I wasn't planning for this bit, but it will now be ex-Manchester and Potter's E400s. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you a few clips as we we'll go back into Halifax, and then I'll pass into the studio for a full fleet list of what they've got at the moment. Um, as I say, a few little theories about um, what service have done previously, what they've done today, um, and what we can potentially expect them to do as we continue on in the year. There we go, so that was our Manchester and Potteries E400 adventure. What we'll do now is we'll pass into the studio for a little bit of a summary as to what we've been on, um, what we've sampled, how many they've got and any of the bits and bobs that we may have missed. So to summarise this video, and it was quite an impromptu late afternoon one that's quite unusual for me, purely because these E400s have sort of been on and off service, they've done a couple of days and they've not appeared again, then done the odd day and then not appeared. So I thought, well, there was at least two of the Potteries ones out and the nice surprise that was the ex-Manchester example out in use as well. I thought it was worth um, heading out and getting them all filmed and sampled and seeing what they are like coping with the Halifax roads. So 33826 through to 30, they've got all of them, are ex-potteries, uh, the ex-west of England, stayed at Sheffield for a bit but weren't used, refurbished, ex-potteries vehicles, um, and there, as I say, the SN63 plates. Then the ones from Manchester, as you can see, 33694, 33701, 268, 23, 29, 32, 36, 38, 41 and 44. So they've got more of them. Um, they are um, all SN12 plates. They're all new to the Olympic Games um, transport in um, 2012. So, the, as I say, the Potteries ones have had a bit more TLC recently, so if you are looking for ones that are a little bit different on the inside, those have the um, interior trim that's slightly different. The SN12s um, do seem a bit more tired inside, but they do seem a little bit more sort of reliable, a little bit more, a, good, a little bit better climbing hills, should I say, um, than the Potteries ones do, so it's not all about appearance. Sometimes even the rough looking buses um, can perform um, just as good, but to note, um, in line with that, and looking after their vehicles, Halifax have just had 33741 painted in the new corporate livery. So that is the first vehicle at Halifax that is now in the purple and grey corporate livery on school services at the moment. May see the odd occasional service work as it did just as it got painted, um, but predominantly will be a school's vehicle. 
So yes, on to the topic of that, and these are going to be school vehicles predominantly. There are a couple, I believe the few that were went on today, and potentially the odd extra one, that do seem to be moved over to the service pool. Whether they stay there or not is another question, um, but the majority of them will be staying on the Yellow School Bus um, team fleet at Halifax for school services only. Um, for now, I mean, they did a very similar thing when they got the e 400 from Leeds to put them out into service. Some of them, unfortunately, weren't that reliable. So they put them onto the schools and one by one they put them out in public service. So hopefully that might be the case. We'll have to see what happens. But as I say, they are relatively new vehicles. So once Halifax do build a little bit of trust with them because they had quite a few issues with the Leeds ones when they arrived, then hopefully they'll see a bit more service. For now, as I say, do keep a look out on bus times at all track. It's not always correct for them, um, but um, predominantly it does tend to be relatively accurate for the ex potteries ones and um, when they are um, sort of out and about in public service. But with all that said and done, I do hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, then do be sure to hit that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Amor Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now. Bye.